Portland has a timeout. Lillard, a chance to send the Thunder home. Lillard, long range three, and it's good! At the buzzer, Damian Lillard! Are you kidding me? Hey YouTube, David Sean 123 here, and I am so excited to make this video because in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Portland Trail Wizards season. Now, for, you, for those of you who didn't know, I am a Portland Trail Wizards fan, and this year we made it to the Western Conference Finals. Unfortunately, we got swept in the Western Conference Finals, but I am really happy about how far we got and how well we played this season. So in this video, I wanted to explain the lowlights and the highlights of the season, what I liked, what I didn't like, what we need to improve on, stuff like that. There's going to be many clips. Uh, where I show you, um, like like the, in the intro, the high, there's going to be some highlights I'm going to show you, and there's going to be some lowlights that I'm going to show you. Um, but I'm going to explain in full detail about what I thought about the season and where we go from here. So my favorite thing from the season was that game winner, game five, 37 footer by Damian Lillard. I showed you at the start of the video. But another big moment for me was game seven against the Denver Nuggets and how CJ played. And I'm going to show you two clips of Game 7 that really showed me how much they wanted to move on. To the head, Murray. Murray down the court. Jet black. Oh, McCollum with a block. C.J. McCollum. You want to win? Show me. Great recovery. C.J. had that great chase down block. And then a minute later, he does this. Craig isolated on McCollum. Eight to shoot. McCollum the drive, pushback jumper. It's good. CJ McCollum with 37, and it's back to three. So those two plays from CJ McCollum won us Game Seven and got us to Western Conference Finals. And what impressed me so much that Game Seven was my favorite game of the year. That Game Seven, we were down by 17 in the first half, and we came back. I was giving up. I'm like, it's over. We're gonna lose. But they completely. They completely surprised me. It came back from 17 down. And like I said, the CJ, those two players from CJ McCollum won us the game. And that was my favorite game. And those were two of my favorite plays of the whole season. Now it's time for a low light. Because there there has been... This one even isn't even their fault. It was a Yusuf Nurchik leg injury. It's very gruesome. So if you don't want to see this, I'm going to show our uh, center, Yusuf Nurchik. He comes down with a broken leg. So if you don't want to see any broken leg, Cut to this this uh, time right here, and I'll skip right through it. There's baseline. Carroll met him there. That's no good. Nurkic again on the offensive boards, and now he's hurt. Oh, oh, and, oh. and Yusuf Nurkic is seriously hurt. Oh, that is a serious injury. Yeah, just watching that over. Oh, it's terrible. But that really freaked me out when that happened. Really pissed me off because. I thought for sure the season was over. and I knew we had Cantor at the time, but a good backup center who could start. But I was like, oh, that's our best center, and he's having a career. It really sucked. But thankfully, it didn't. Um, we still got to the Western Conference Finals, but I feel like if we still had him, we would have gone further or at least won a couple games in the Western Conference Finals. But um, so that's definitely a little light, him being injured like that. Oh, so hopefully he comes back stronger and better next season. Um, the good news is he's already walking without even a cast or a boot or crutches or anything. So that's the good news. But, oh, it's so hard to watch. Another little light of the season. It's not an injury this time, but it is a game, the score. We, it was back in November, so fairly early. We were the first seed at the time in the West. Um, but after this game, we weren't. It's a game when we lost against the Bucks, where we lost by 43 points, and it was absolutely terrible. No, God! No, God! Please, no! 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 So another highlight. It was still the postseason. Unfortunately, it was in Game Four where we got where we lost the Golden State Warriors. But Myers Leonard had a career. A career game where he scored 25 points in the first half and 30 in the and, and 30 in the whole game. 
Dribbler pass inside to Mo Harkless, right back to Leonard, and Leonard with the flush. Points. Leonard drills a jumper. Leonard wide open. Leonard decides to shoot, banks it home. Leonard has 11 points already. Fabulous condition. Leonard answers back, fires Leonard. 14 points here in the first quarter. Leonard left open, no hesitation, drills another. It's the most points Myers Leonard has scored in a half in his career. And again, Myers Leonard lighting it up. He's got 20. Leonard fakes, Leonard flips it up, and good. He's 9 for 11 from the field. Leonard feeling it, tries another three. Hey, it's again. Unselfish play, the confidence of Leonard, puts it on the deck, moves sideways, continues to stay hot. What a half of Myers Leonard. Oh. Leonard's all alone. Now Green hustles back. Leonard, and he throws it down. Another big moment for me was the All-Star game. Team LeBron versus Team Greek Freak. I don't know how to say his name. Giannis, whatever. And Lillard was on Team LeBron. They were down by like, I don't know, something in the third quarter. And Lillard came in and hit back-to-back -back deep threes. And the bench was going off. The LeBron bench was going off. I absolutely loved that moment. Back in this ball game from the three-point line. Thompson has five threes off the steal. Back comes Lillard. Guard the three from way down. It's Lillard time. At practice, Lillard was asked, "What time is Lillard time start?" He said, "Any time in the second half." John is getting ready to start. Oh, yeah. Now the talking. Oh, yeah. We've got a ball game here, people. Lillard again. Get for Lillard time. Three. Lillard time. So another highlight for me was. Game three, second round against the Denver Nuggets. And we, the game went to four overtimes. Rodney came in in the fourth. Rodney Hood came in the fourth overtime and took over. And we ended up winning in a four overtime thriller. Do you guys like the uh, edit I put in there? Those edits? I had a, That took a while, but I, it's funny. So, anyway, here here's another little light. Um, it was game three of the first round against OKC Thunder, the only game they won. Um, it was at the end of the game where the um, Thunder had already won the game and fucking Paul George goes up and does a, a reverse dunk. Doesn't count, but it's expire. It's an unwritten rule in the NBA, if you didn't know, to score when the game is over. You just don't do that. He didn't score, but he did show up his opponents by reverse dunking the ball. So here you go. This really pissed me off. Blocked by Noel, a final highlight for OKC. George will throw it down. That won't count, but it doesn't matter. The Thunder right back in this series with an impressive win on their home floor. Lillard calmly goes over to ask the officials about something, but C.J. McCollum tell him, let's get back. But just for that, Damian Lillard ended their season in Game 5 with my favorite part of the season. You saw it here first, and now you're going to see it the last clip. Shot clock is off. Portland has a timeout. Lillard, a chance to send the Thunder home. Lillard, long range three, and it's good! So we definitely have some things to improve on, get some wings and uh, keep some of the guys, keep as many guys as we can because we're probably going to lose, probably going to lose Curry, maybe may lose Cantor. I'm try I want to keep Hood and maybe Cantor. Curry would suck to lose, but hopefully we can keep him, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, we definitely have to get some wings and we have to make adjustments, but I think we're going to have a really good, a really good uh, next season, um, and hopefully we win the championship next year, but hopefully we can improve and get back to the Western Conference Finals again for two years in a row since we had a streak of not going there for 19 straight years so anyway so yeah 
that's the video, guys. Um, that's what I've had up with the season. There's my highlights and lowlights. I had way more highlights than lowlights, which is good. So that means yeah, it was a really good season. And it was. I love this season a lot. This is one of my favorite seasons they've had in a long time. And like I said, the first time in 19 years they've been to the Western Conference Finals. It sucks that we got swept, but I'm really happy how we went from last year getting swept in the first round to make it all the way to the Western Conference Finals when everyone was saying trade Lillard, fire Stotts, get rid of McCollum, um, uh, fire Olshea, stuff like that. The uh, uh, this is a general manager, and it was a great season. It sucks I had to end like that. I wish we could have won at least a couple games, but I'm happy with how they played. Um, I had a fun making this video, looking at those highlights. The only thing I didn't like seeing is that Nurchik injury again. That's really gruesome. So if you didn't want to see it, like I said, click that uh, that time. Go to that time I have later in the video. Um, but if this was a very fun video, I'm glad I did it. Um, this is it took a little while to edit, but it was worth it. It, it only took me like 30 minutes, um, but it was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast. So I've been David Tron one two three. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace.